Alright, this is a quick little video to show you how to create a video in Inventor. So here I just have um, a robot I built a while back uh, just to show gearing and whatnot. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go up to our ribbon and we want to go to the Environments tab. Once we do that, we want to come over to Inventor Studio. Now, in our Inventor Studio, uh, we have a lot of stuff going on up here. Let's say I just want to make a, a picture. I would click Render Image. And I have some things I can take a look at here. Um, I can take a look at first uh, maybe the lighting. I could do kind of a, a blue hue. Uh, uh, bottom lighting might be kind of fun. But there's a lot of different options here for the lighting. For the background, um, again, there's a lot of different types of backgrounds I could use. Uh, Galaxy might be kind of fun. to load. But either way, once you have um, a background, the output, style, true reflection, it's pretty simple. You just render. And this will uh, take a little bit of time. But it'll make a picture of your robot. And then if you want to, you can just go and save it. So, now for the video. To do the video, the first thing we want to do is we, we want to take a look at the browser. And the first thing is we have, uh, I think third down here is animations. We want to right click on the animations and create a new animation. And it may seem like nothing's happening here, but we want to click this little plus sign and we see that we have this animation one. We want to right click on this and we want to activate it. It gives us this table right down here. The next thing we need is we need a camera. So coming a little further down, we have camera. And I'm just going to create, I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a camera from view. And we can see this camera pops up right here. And if you want to, you can um, make it invisible, make it visible. It doesn't really matter. Okay, now for our timeline here, uh, 30 seconds would take quite a long time to render. So instead, I'm just going to make it 5 seconds. We see that we've done this down here. The next thing we want to do is we want to, um, instead of using current view, we want to use camera 1. Now, the next thing is we want this camera to kind of go around and take a look at different features. So, for example, I may want the camera to get a, a front face. So I'll get the front face here. I'm going to click this. I'm going to drag it around. I want it to be on the front face right about here. So I'm going to take a snapshot. And then, let's say at one second, I want the camera to take a, a picture of that side. Say about one and a half seconds. I wanted to take a look at that side, so I'll take a snapshot. Maybe at two seconds, I wanted to take a picture at that side right there. Take a snapshot. And I'll wait for a little bit, and then, and let's say at this point, I want to take a snapshot here. And we can keep going so that when we take a look at our video, it looks something like that. Uh, and we can slow this down, obviously, uh, just have a little more space. You know, the camera's picking up where it should go in between. When you're ready to render, uh, I just click the record. That brings up this uh, box here. We can get the, uh, you know, the 640 by 480. Uh, we can take a look at the lighting, the background, 
all that stuff. Uh, under output, you want to, for the time range, you want to do the entire animation here. That just changes that time there. You can choose uh, anti-aliasing, you know, how, how crisp you want the video, frames, and uh, the style. Now, when you go to click render, it's going to ask you to save it. And you can, you know, give this file name whatever you want. But look at the file type. Right now, it's saving it as a Windows uh, movie video or Windows media file. Not very many computers can play it. Well, if the computer is not a Windows computer, it's not going to play it. It's much better to change this type over to an AVI before you go to save it. After that, you just save it and follow the rest of the prompts. All right, that concludes this video on how to make a video.